everybody. Here for a little Game 2 Red Sox-Yankees playoff coverage. Um, funny thing, uh, true story, because I just got back from work, I was listening to this game on my way home, and uh, Red Sox were trailing 3-1 to one against the Yankees, so I was looking forward to coming home and having a nice close game with, you know, this high-intensity 7th or 8th inning whenever I got home. And I got home just in time for Gary Sanchez to hit a 3-run home run to make it 6-1, to one. so now I don't even know why I'm doing this. But here we are, uh, Game 2 of the ALDS, Red Sox-Yankees. J.D. Martinez just got a hit to uh, lead off the inning, so he's on first against uh, Dylan Batances, who's now pitching to somebody, I don't freaking know. So yeah, that's kind of a mood killer, because, I mean, they did win Game 1, so I was excited about that. And, you know, 3-1 to one is a nice close game, so I thought I'd finally see my competitive postseason baseball, but no, no, not quite. Um, I, I didn't see the beginning of the game, so I don't know how Price was. He gave up a couple home runs as Nunez pops up. Uh, is he going to catch it? Eh, of course he will. All right, one out. But yeah, I guess Price was fair. I don't know. He uh, gave up a few home runs. It seems like the Yankees only get their runs on home runs, and they have two from Gary Sanchez and uh, one from Aaron Judge. And the Red Sox had a home run from Bogarts. That's really all I know. Uh, six to one in the seventh inning. I really have no reason to watch this other than I've been looking forward to playoffs all year, so I guess I may as well watch them. Yay! Red Sox, why? Why, when I start to believe in you, do you let me down the most? But we'll see what happens here. And Ian Kinsler's up uh, with the guy on first. You know, maybe I'll catch some incredible comeback on video. We'll all be having a good laugh about this, but I highly doubt that. Um, I, I thought Price would be okay, and it's pretty much what I expected. It was like three runs. I don't know if he went like five or six innings or whatever, but that's pretty much what I expected was an okay outing. I was hoping the hitting would do a little bit more. Tanaka can be a little hit or miss himself, but I guess he was good enough to hold them to one run. And now the Yankee bullpen is in the game, so I'm not very, you know, confident about that. If it was 3-1, to one, I thought maybe they could make something happen, but 6-1, to one, not so much. They'll probably end up scoring four runs, ironically. Uh, and I didn't see it, but I guess there was a play in the top of the seventh inning where Eduardo Rodriguez could have covered first to, uh, make an out to begin the inning. Didn't happen, so who knows what that might have done. Uh, Rafael Devers is on deck. You know, maybe, maybe the Red Sox, maybe for once one of the Red Sox, like, young players will step up and do something unexpected, because it seems like the Yankees get those guys all the time, with, like, Luke Voigt, Gary Sanchez. You get these players that come out of nowhere and hit, like, 20 home runs in half a season. And the Red Sox have had a couple of those, but it usually fizzles out pretty quick. And, you know, even like J.D. Martinez had started the season really hot, ended up having pretty good numbers, but, you know, nothing exceptional. That ball's inside. Uh, two and two the count right now. And I don't know, just, you know, still Red Sox-Yankees playoff game. Still, you know, still fun for that reason. I would have been a lot more psyched if it was three to one right now, and I was, you know, the tying run was up to bat, but... Sometimes you can't have nice things, and, you know, this playoff coverage, as it has been pretty much since 2013 when they actually won the damn thing, it's pretty much just been me complaining about the Red Sox. So let's get back to that, because that's, uh, that's pretty much where we're at right now, is uh, playoff coverage where I complain about the Red Sox. It seems like when I don't watch, they win. Maybe I should stop watching. I don't know. I don't really believe in that. Some people are like, oh, I can't watch the game or they'll lose or whatever, or like, I have to watch the game or they'll lose, but... Oh, shoot! Deep fly ball to left field, going back, off the wall. I got really way too excited about that, but it took a big bounce over the left fielder. I'm hoping that'll get a run in, and it looks like it will. Yep, as um, Martinez comes in to score, and a double for Kinsler. So just when I write him off, the Red Sox do something. Again, would have been a lot more exciting if it was 3-1 to one and not 6-1, to because now it's 6-2, to two, which doesn't really mean a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. But hey, was that Mitch Moreland? I don't even know my own players. I think that was Mitch Moreland who scored. I think as Martinez is number 28, Mitch Moreland is number 18, so I think I just saw the 8 and assumed that Martinez got that hit. Yeah, take that, Patances. We got a hit off of you in a game that you're probably going to win anyway. So, yeah, go Red Sox. Woo! Wearing my David Ortiz shirt. You may, remember, you may remember David Ortiz as that guy that actually did stuff in the postseason. But, you know, it's still early for this, you know, young group of Red Sox with Bogarts and Bradley and Betts and all them. I mean, so far I haven't been impressed. In 2016, they did nothing. 2017, they did basically nothing. And Devers just popped that up, foul and out of play. So, you know, Devers is another one of these guys who, you know, you hope will be some kind of wild card type hero in this thing. Rafael Devers, I think he had like 20 home runs in the regular season, which is pretty good for a rookie or a relatively young rookie. 
So we'll see what he can do here in a big spot against Matanzas. He has had success against the Yankees' bullpen, Devers has. I remember him hitting a home run against uh, Aroldis Chapman at Yankee Stadium last year. I don't know what his numbers are against Patances. I also feel like Patances isn't as dominant as he was, like, in the beginning. I remember he was, like, touted as, like, their big setup guy. Patances and Miller, Patances and uh, Chapman, you know, that big, bad bullpen. And they're still really good, but I don't get that same sense with Patances that he's, like, this big, dominant player that he was, anyway. I still think he'll be pretty good. So they, just, they just showed uh, Devers' numbers, hit 21 home runs in the regular season. So I think that's, like, third best on the team, which is impressive since he didn't play all the games. So he fouls that one off. The count should go to one and two there, and it does. Uh, Pierce is in the dugout for some unknown reason. I don't have the sound on, so I never know what they're talking about. They might just be talking about his haircut or something. I have no idea. That reminds me of 2003 for some reason. I don't know why I just got that in my head, because I saw he had, like, shaved his head. I remember they all, like, shaved their heads. They, like, Millar had, like, dyed his hair, like, bright green. And he strikes out. Oh, well, that's a shame. I remember those Red Sox, the 2003, and even the 2004 Red Sox, just the personality those teams had and how they stuck together, you know, it was like them against the world, and they had, you know, the different gimmicks, like the shaving heads and all that. Even a couple of years ago when they did the win dance repeat, I really liked that, when they would dance after the wins. They don't do that this year. You know, this team, for as good as they are, I just, I don't get the sense that they're like a unit, like the 2013 team that, like, really cared for each other and really had a great time playing the game. I feel like this team is just a lot more straightforward and, you know, what you see is what you get. And that's okay if they win. But, you know, I'm not getting my hopes up too much here. I don't even know who's up right now. Is it Bradley? I think it's Bradley. Yeah, it's Bradley. All right, so this will probably be the end of the inning. Uh, it's been fun. I've enjoyed this. Uh, game 2 live of the ALDS, Red Sox Yankees, right here in my room where we've seen me celebrate many a victory and many more defeats. So here we go. Two outs in the seventh. Swing and a miss from Bradley Jr. Well, yeah, at least I got one video out of this. I don't know. Um, I'm assuming the Red Sox will lose this game, and then it goes back to Yankee Stadium. If they split at Yankee Stadium, which I think they can, then they come back to Fenway for a game five. So, I mean, I think that's what's going to happen. I think this goes five, and after that, who knows? He grounds it, and just like I predicted, the inning is over. Red Sox get a run. Uh, still down by four. There you go.